What's going on guys? I am here at the new camp booth at RVX and I am with Jason who's a representative of the company. How are you doing today man? Good, how about you? Doing real good. So you have a very, very unique style of travel trailer here. Very European, Australian execution. And it's rare to kind of see this very edgy, curvy, modern design here in the States. So can you take a moment and kind of explain the concept, the designs behind your travel trailers? Yeah, so the Avia, the, the new one that we just came out with, is um, the biggest one we've made yet. Um, we, we focus on the teardrops, on all the small stuff. That's what we do best. Um, but we noticed that our customers were asking for something bigger um, with a lot more room um, and then we brought a lot of that European flair back with us and um, our, our top management goes to Europe, goes to Germany every year, um, brought some of that back with them and this is what they came up with. So it's got a um, queen bed in the back with a, another queen bed in the front um, once you fold that table down. But this is just something we're really excited about, hoping to bring out this summer and um, um, we're hoping everybody really loves it. Yeah, let's take a look inside. Yeah, let's do it. I noticed the European windows. Yes. So, as far as I know, um, the plastiform windows, they're actually from, um, originate from Slovenia. Okay. So they were here talking with us yesterday. Um, but as you can see, just very spacious, a lot of room in here. Um, as we come to the back of the trailer, you'll see um, we've got our bed that actually will, will fold up and do a sitting position. So we've got the remote here for that, and that can just fold down with the push of a button. Um, so if you're laying in bed, you want to sit up, you want to watch TV, um, read a book, whatever, you can, can put that up into the sitting position. Um, so that's just one of the cool things about the back. But as you can see, we've got a lot of room here around the edge of the bed, a lot of storage in the back. Um, but it also just has that cool, uh, more modern flair mm -hmm. that this trailer does, which is something we're really excited oh, about. Oh, the cabinetry is beautiful. Yes. Just the fit and finish. Everything is very well put together. It has, again, that higher quality European feel to it. Yep. And what I like about this coach is it's set up as an American interior in terms of, you know, in Europe, people don't camp out quite as long as they do here in the States, yeah. right? It's usually maybe yeah. a weekend day trip. Whereas here in the States, people might be out for weeks or even months at a yeah. time. You've got a lot of people um, that we know of, or a lot of our clientele, this is what they do year round. Some people, um, they sell everything in their house, um, kids go off to college and then the parents just want to go travel mm -hmm. and just sell everything and, and our trailers allow them to do that. And now with this one, uh, it's more geared to even like a small family. So it's, it's a different market for us. Um, and you can see as we move to the front or closer to the front here, we've got our um, technically be a dry bath since your shower um, is separate from your um, toilet and um, sink. So nice size. The cool thing about the, uh, the toilet here is it looks small right now. Um, but to, to make that bigger, this just needs pulled out. Oh, wow. That is cool. So this pulls out to give you uh, some more room. Um, once you're on the inside, and then you've got these revolving uh, doors, almost. Yeah, that's almost. like an airplane, but very innovative. A little different from some of the stuff you're going to see out there. Same with your shower. Um, and as we move to the front, um, again, you can just see the, the the sleek style of the cabinetry that we plan on doing once we start building. Um, you've got the nice big fridge. You've got your nice big wardrobe closet. Um, and so this is just something that we we're really looking forward to. Uh, moving forward here. So now that we're back outside of the unit, and you know, this is definitely the type of, of RV I think a lot of people in the States have been wanting. They've been looking for this type of construction, this type of cosmetic appeal, and really usefulness of space, right? Ergonomics. If somebody was looking to buy one of these, what can they expect to pay from an MSRP perspective? So from, from one of our dealers um, around the country, we've got dealers in the U.S. and Canada, um, we're going to be looking right around 60 for a ballpark. Might be a little less, maybe a little more. Depending um, on how you get it equipped, of course, Options right? and so forth. But um, that's what we're looking at to start here. And we, we hope that that's uh, reasonable for people to buy. But um, we're just really excited to bring it out here in a couple months. Um, and we, we, we debuted this trailer last fall at Elkhart mm -hmm. Open House. And we took it to Hershey, PA for those two shows. So people saw it then and they got really excited about it. And um, you'll start seeing them on dealers' lots uh, in a few months here. So now we're going to take a quick look at this truck camper from New Camp. Back here with Jason. Jason, let's walk through this thing and give me a couple of uh, pointers about this specific unit. Yeah, so this is our brand new Cirrus 720. Um, weighing in right around 2,100 pounds. 
uh, fully loaded. And that, that would be options. So before you add water and propane and all that, so right around 2100, uh, built for a six and a half foot bed, ideal for a three quarter ton. Mm -hmm. So this we just came out with, um, we wanted to bring out something lighter than our 820 and our Cirrus 920s. Um, now we will also be building something lighter than this for a half ton um, in the near future as well. But this is what we have right now is our Cirrus 720. Um, so just a little different style as you can see on the outside compared to our Cirrus 820 and 920. Um, Very modern approach to it. I love the LED lighting, I like the curvature. This is just a beautiful outside look to this thing. And then we don't have the rear bumper on the back like we do with the other two. It's a little more um, sleek, a little more modern, but we can take a step inside yeah. and see what we got. So kind of with the Avia, going around that same thing with the bathroom, different style bathroom. Right here you'd be looking at your bathroom when the door is closed. It's closed, that way you have space, um, you have room. Now to get into that bathroom you're just going to be opening this door. And you can see on the inside we have our toilet, which is a cassette toilet. Um, shower head is up top. Um, and then that door can just slide out of your way when you don't need it. That is very cool. I was not expecting it to do that. Yes, so that's new for our truck camper here too. Um, with this truck camper, with the space that you have, if you don't need something, it needs to be able to be put away, be put out of your way. Um, moving up front, we've got the, the queen bed like we have in all of our campers, um, with storage along the sides, um, speakers up front with USB 12 volt 110, LED lights throughout. Um, you've got your TV, your entertainment system up front here that can be swiveled so you can watch TV while you're in bed. Um, then right here, you've obviously got your dinette, um, two person dinette. Over here on the kitchen, you've got your two burner stove, your sink. Um, we will have a microwave as an option uh, moving forward. Um, but kind of everything in here, it, it has its place. Um, they did really well with storage and with putting everything where it should be. So we're really, really excited about this. Um, and we hope the public will be too. I'm sure ergonomically, you've just done a great job laying things out, putting things out of the way, putting curves in the right places so they don't bump your head, right? Just, yep. they've done a great job, man. This is a really, really innovative line and can't wait for these things to go on sale here in the Thank States. You. We appreciate it. All right, Jason, I really appreciate your time. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll come back to you real soon.